We try to define a DFA for the following language. The alphabet is 0, 1, and the string starts and ends with the same bit. Now, as always, we're going to use Q0 for the initial state. The initial bit could be 0 or 1, so we're going to enter either Q1 and Q2. Now, at this state, if you go to 0, that's good because it, it could end in with 0. That's a accepting state here. Now, if you go to 1, you have to jump out to another state. Yeah, let's call it Q3. In that state, you could have a 0, which brings back to the accepting state. Because if it ends, Q1 is good. Now, the other case, similarly, if you receive 1, that's good, accepting state. Okay, accepting state. And if you go to 0, you have jump out to, let's say, Q4. In that state, if you accept 0, you're going to stay here. And if you get, um, let's say, in this case, if you go to 1, you're going to stay here, right? Here, if you get 1, you're going to go back to the accepting state because start and end with 1, all right? So the two accepting state here is going to be this one and this one accepting state. That's the DFA for the language.